sometimes the way that some of the students write their analysis it merges the background and problem identification and the next section which is the current system I'd like in this video for you to be able to have a look at several current systems in the current system section you need to be able to describe how the, your client and the other people within the organization group currently do their job so I'm going to let you I'm going to take you very quickly through the background and problem of this project so that you can get up to speed with what this is about so pause the video have a read uh, do like you did on the previous video Okay, so that set the scene of the background investigation. Now have a read through what the students got of the current system. They're talking through every step of the way from the initial inquiry, how it's done through phone call, for email, what is recorded, how it's recorded, and they've made references to an appendix section where they've got these documents that they're discussing. So pause now and have a read through. I'm going to scroll down, pause now and read through. Pause now, read through. Pause now. Pause now. And this student has summarized at the end the main problems with the current system. So with the background and identification of the problem area, the description of the current system and the problems identified, this student has fully covered everything to do with their project. This example is a current system for um, another company, the Perfect Touch, that deal with uh, bespoke party packages, and they deal with orders for weddings, the renting of different equipment, um, balloons for parties, etc. So what I'd like to do, again, pause this video and have a read through the current system. So as you've read through, this gives a thorough description of how everything currently works. Um, problems are then identified. So having had a read through that section you'll see another well put together. If anything with this section it would have been good for this project um, for certain parts of it to be put in bullet points or numbered headings especially when it comes to the problems so that as a reader you can see there's a problem, there's a problem, there's a problem and they're identified with bullet points. Okay we've got one more to look at. And that's the start of the current system. So again, have a read through. Pause the video now. Pause the video now. Pause now. Pause 
pause now. And again, you can see a summary of the problems identified here by the student. Pause now. further problems on this page. Okay so those three analysis that you've just looked at they focus on the current system you can see how this builds on the background investigation so use this to help you develop your current system remember with the current system you need to be able to discuss it in a way that anybody could pick this up read it understand what documents are used, what information is recorded, how it is recorded, every process that takes place, every form that's filled out, every person involved along the line, every department involved, and how everything is currently done. As much as you've got to back up in an appendix will benefit this section. For example, if you're saying a job sheet is completed, refer to appendix 2, page 1. Once this job sheet is completed, a quotation is generated from it. Refer to appendix to page 2. And if you go through for each of these, then you should have, and do it in this style, you should have a really good analysis. Good luck with this next stage of your project.